All right, for the last lesson of chapter 20, um, we're taking our regression line one step farther. Um, and now I'm just going to show you the purpose of having a regression line and what it's used for. Um, this is actually used uh, as kind of a popular business tool uh, in order to make predictions for within companies or statistics, um, athletics, things like that. So um, there is a page on your book that I want to introduce to you really quick. That's page 587. So I'm going to go over to that. Uh, and that's where you're going to find the definitions to interpolation and extrapolation. But I want you to see um, a visual of what those things mean. So um, right here, um, and again, that's the old book. This is 587 for you. Uh, within this page, you'll see a, a graph right here, and you'll notice the scatter plot. And that's all the data points that was uh, collected and plotted. Um, they have the regression line passing right through the middle of all those points. Um, and so here's now what we can do with the equation of our regression line is we can now use it to make predictions uh, for other data that we haven't yet collected. So there's two ways of doing this. If I make a prediction and I sub in an X value somewhere within the range of my data. So if I put in a, an X value right about here, and if I were to kind of see that hitting the line and coming over here to the Y value and, and made a prediction on what that would be based on the X value, uh, we call that interpolation because I'm picking a data um, within the range of the data that I already have. If I were to pick an X value somewhere out here or somewhere out here, uh, that would be extrapolation because I'm now using a data point that is outside the range of my data. Um, and notice this is only in terms of X values. Uh, I'm just looking at the X axis for that. This has nothing to do with the vertical range. I'm just looking at the horizontal range of my X's. When you, when you make predictions, um, it's considered a valid prediction or something that would be uh, potentially true or worthwhile, worth using, only if it's interpolation, only if you're using something within the range of your data. If you're making a prediction based on a number that's somewhere out here, well, you can do that. You can make the prediction. Uh, it's just not really considered a valid prediction uh, because you're, you're coming up with something that's way outside of the range of your data that you all have already collected. So that's the difference between those two uh, vocab words right there. So let me show you what we're going to be doing with those things. So if you're following along with the notes, here we go. So um, again, give yourself some kind of definition for the difference between interpo interpolation and extrapolation, but those are the big key words right there. So predictions made within the range of your data uh, versus outside the range of your data. So um, I wrote down the regression line to the lesson three notes example that we did. So if you have that, this is, uh, I, I pulled the equation that we got within the, the values from that previous lesson. So that's one that we're gonna be using here for today's notes as well. So I'm basically just extending the lesson three notes with something that we've already done. We, we came up with this regression line right here. And so now we can use this to make predictions for other pieces of data that we haven't yet collected. Uh, so there's a, these, are, these are the types of questions that you're gonna be asked for this. Let me show you how to get all the points here. So if I wanna predict a Y value when X is two and a half, well, if I take my regression line right here, um, if I just sub in 2.5 in for X, then I can predict the Y value that's gonna come out of that. So this is the result that we got. Now all I did was sub in my value for X right there. Always show your work when you're doing this. So really important that you show your work um, if this happens to be wrong or off in any way. Uh, if you don't show your work, you get no credit, but if you do show the work and show that you are doing a proper substitution, you can still get credit for that. So always show your work. That's really important, even within your homework. Notice I'm still doing my answer to three sig figs as always. So continue doing that. Uh, the, but then this, here's part two of the question. Um, is this a valid prediction? And this goes back to what I was talking about up here. So is 2.5 within the range of our data? So let me draw you back really quick to uh, the data that we were using for this. So here's where that regression line came from. These were the notes from lesson three. So just look at the X's, don't look at the Y values. Um, remember, we plugged in a value for X. So it would only make sense to look at the X values uh, when determining whether or not we're inside the range of our data. So we just subbed in 2.5. So is that somewhere within 
the range of our data? Yes, obviously. Um, our range goes from 1 to 6, so anything between 1 and 6 would be considered a valid piece of data or a valid prediction uh, that we're making here. So that's why I said yes, um, and then you're always going to be asked to give a reason. Uh, keep this simple. You're either going to say yes because it's within the range of the data or no, it's outside the range of the data. You only ever give one of those two responses. Don't get creative. Don't try to do more than what's necessary here. Uh, the reason just needs to be this simple every single time. It's, it's either it's within the range of the data or no, it's outside the range of the data. So that's all you'd ever have to say for your reason. And so all this right here, this would earn you full credit uh, on a test question. So let me give you one more example right down here at the bottom. So again, what if we wanted to predict a Y value when X is 10? So first things first. Um, remember, you can always make a prediction. Whether it's valid or not, you can still make the prediction. Um, and so if we just now sub in a 10 for X, so again, I'm using the same regression line that we've already come up with. I'm subbing in a 10 for X, and if I put that into my calculator, this is what I get for my Y value. So here's my prediction for Y when X is 10 uh, to three sig figs, as always. Um, is, is this a valid prediction? Well, this would not be because 10 is outside the range of our data. So again, if you look at what this is based on, remember this was the data that was used in order to come up with the regression line equation that we are using right now. So uh, if I look at the range of my x's, and again, I'm summing in a number for x, so I only look at the x's when determining whether or not this is valid. But the range for the x's goes from 1 to 6, so anything outside of that range is not a valid prediction. So this was the prediction, but it would not be considered valid. Um, and again, here's the reason. 10 is outside the range of the data. And so that's all you ever say. Your, your reason that you give needs to be this simple. It's either this response or this response every single time. Don't, don't try to make it out to be more than that. Keep it simple, but uh, again, this is what's needed to earn you all the points. Um, the last side note here, if you got the notes printed out in front of you that I put down here at the bottom, this is really important. Um, remember, we're subbing in a value for X, so when you're trying to determine whether or not something is valid, you only look at the X values to determine whether or not it's value. So if I'm looking at the determining whether or not I'm inside the range, um, I'm, I'm just looking at the row for the X's because that's where I'm subbing in a number, so that's the only list that we look at to determine validity.